lordship of Jesus over his life. And you see, this stage is a stage of consciousness. Not man gets into a covenant without his consciousness involved. So what God does is that when he wants to come into a relation with a man, what he does is that he brings that man to a stage, a level of acceptance. This acceptance is in two ways. The first acceptance is when that man believes and confesses the lordship of God over his life through the person of Jesus. Just like Abraham that encountered God. Abraham had to accept the offer God gave to him that he was going to be a blessed man and a man that would be a blessing. So the first thing that happened was acceptance. Your spiritual journey begins from the plane of acceptance. So what God did through Jesus was to give the light, give Jesus to us as a sin sacrifice that will cause us to be accepted by God. So the Bible said that for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Why your heart is needed is because your heart happens to be in the theater that expresses the issues of life. It so happened to be that whatever you say with your mouth that does not that does not fraternizes with the posture of your heart is invalid. So what God does when he wants to work with a man or when he wants to interact with a man is that he brings the man to a state of acceptance, the state of acknowledgement. Oh, for every man that must work with God, that man must come to a state of acknowledging the sovereignty of God. Where a, where a man gets to a point where he comes to submit to the government of God. Every work with God begins from acknowledgement, begins from acceptance. So the Bible revealed to us that in the New Testament, for a man to be accepted by God, that man must first believe in his heart that Jesus is Lord. And that man must confess the lordship of Jesus over his life. When that man confesses the lordship of Jesus, that man is brought into the kingdom of God by his reception of the life of God called righteousness. What makes you to be accepted by God is when you receive the very life of Christ. When a man acknowledges God and confesses the lordship of God over his life in the person of Jesus, that man receives the nature of God. That nature is called the life of God. The very life we received in the beginning and the exception of man in the person of Adam was corrupted because of disobedience in the garden of Eden. So the life that man had was sustained for death. Man became a seed of corruption. Man was not designed to see death. Man was designed to have a perpetual relationship with God. But when man disobeyed God in Eden, man was driven away from the confines of God. Eden was a confluence center between God and man. God will come in the cool of the day to commune, to interact with man. God will come in the cool of the day to interact. Interaction means to relate with man. And we saw that the first man, Adam, was given a wife, a woman, which was his wife, called Eve. And the Bible revealed to us that God told Adam not to eat of a particular tree in the garden of Eden. So the first thing we saw was that man was made for interaction with God. And in interacting with God, there are protocols that you must adhere to. Oh... The first protocol is the protocol of acknowledgement. So God told Adam not to eat of a particular tree. And Eve was aware of it. But the Bible said the devil crept into the garden of Eden and Lord and deceived Eve and Eve deceived the man. And they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And when they ate of that tree, the Bible said man was driven from Eden. Before man was driven for Eden, certain things began to interplay, certain things began to happen. The first thing that happened was that God came in the hour of fellowship, the hour of interaction with man. When he came, man was hiding. Man went into a state of hiddenness. Man hid himself. And when God came, God called Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I am hiding because I am naked. And God told him, who told you you are naked? Have you eat of the tree that I told you not to eat of? And Adam said, the woman that you gave to me made me eat of that tree. And the Bible said, God began to curse the woman. The woman was the first personality that was cursed. God called the woman and said, for what you have done, you shall labor in pains to conceive. You shall come under the government of the man. 
so we saw the woman was cursed when the woman was cursed the man was now when god wanted to cause the man god did not cause man directly god caused the earth god now said to man with your sweat you shall labor to eat oh holy spirit of god man was not cursed the earth was cursed because man was meant to excel from the proceedings from the proceed of the earth the earth was meant to be under the government of man the earth was meant to produce dividends unto man so what god did was that god caused the earth because as long as the earth does not respond to man man will be a hustler man was not meant to be a hustler man was meant to be a creator man was supposed to enter a place and call forth fruits and it and it will appear man was meant to walk into a place and call forth fishes and the fishes will obey him because that is the scope of man's dominion god told man in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that they should have dominion over all the earth and over everything that creepeth in the earth and over all the animals in the in the sea so the geography and the influence of man's dominion covered all the earth both the bears of the air both the creeping animals of the earth and the fishes in the sea were meant to be subject to man and all creature was meant to be subject to man so what god did was that god had to curse the earth god had to curse creation and as the creation was cursed as the earth was cursed the earth began to rebel against man so we now saw how god had to send his son jesus many years later he brought his son jesus firstly to bring man to a state of acceptance a state of comeback from where he was with god in eden the first stage of interaction with god is the stage of acceptance the stage of acknowledgement and it all begins from your heart man was meant to interact with god from a standpoint of willingness from a standpoint of consciousness from a standpoint of acknowledgement so what god will do is that when he wants to interact with a man he will come to that man and if that man opens his doors and if that man opens his hand and stretches his hands of relationship god will begin a journey with that man so that's what the bible says in romans chapter 10 verse 10 according to what jesus christ came to do to redeem us back to god to reconcile us back to god to cause us to be accepted by god because when adam disobeyed god in eden adam was rejected by god adam was driven from the confines from the presence of god adam no longer had intimacy and fraternity with god the proximity the relationship the level of interaction with man and god was broken man was no longer accepted by god because of sin one of the things that causes a man not to be accepted by god is disobedience what is disobedience disobedience is when you live contrary to the standard of god sin simply means living in an opposite direction to god's direction so when god told adam not to eat of a tree that became a standard that became a law that became a yastic for interaction between man and god so when man disobeyed that instruction man's acceptance was broken man's access to god was broken the moment you disobey god you are disacknowledging the sovereignty of god and the moment a man disacknowledges the sovereignty of god that man becomes annihilated from the covering of god the degree at which the presence of god follows the man is sponsored by the consistency of that man's obedience to the standard to the demands of god so we saw follow me follow me everybody follow me ah jesus do we have people online follow me we are joining the three levels of interaction with god it begins from acceptance and acknowledgement of who god is and who god wants you to be in him so we saw the first man adam lost his accept lost his acceptance with god because he disacknowledged a standard a protocol that god gave to him in eden and we now saw how god cut the covenant with abraham and he made abraham a man after his life a man after him a man that was his friend he made that man to become the dynasty the lineage by which he was going to raise a people that would be his people and we saw that god now gave the people of the israelites the con the, 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 the covenant the ark of the covenant the ark represents the covenant God had with the Israelites. 
and they are carried the shekinah of God, the glory of God. The mercy seats represented the throne of God's government that carried the glory. So we now saw that this presence of God was kept in an earthly house which wasn't God's original plan. God's original plan was not to live in an ark. God's original plan was to live in man. So we now saw that because of the disparity that occurred in Eden, the separation that occurred in Eden, God began to navigate and plan a way to bring man back to a point of total acceptance to, to before him. Prior to the coming of Jesus, man had a temporary acceptance before God. So what God did was that he ordained the Levi race, the Levi family, to be priests. And the priest will only enter into the most holy place where the presence of God was kept once a year. That was not God's original plan. God's original plan was that man will perpetually live in his presence. Man was meant to live in God's presence and God was meant to live in man. So we saw that the Old Testament was the shadow of God's original plan for man. God's original plan for man was to live in man perpetually. But it will only begin from a standpoint of acceptance. And for man to be accepted by God, there is a nature that man must have. The nature of man in Eden was corrupted. So man could not host God. So God had to not live in an ark that was made with woods and gold. So the Bible now revealed to us that Jesus Christ came. And the Bible said when Jesus died and resurrected, the Bible said that the curtain that covered the glory of God, the Shekinah of God, from the holy place to the outer court, the Bible said that the curtain was torn and the glory of God.